Hello and welcome! Today I have a look at an indie game called Seine. It is playable for free, the link is in the description. I found it to be a lot of fun and a great game, better than many games you have to pay for. I'm going to guide you through the tutorial, as I've heard of people who struggled with it and gave up on it even before they've really seen the whole game. Afterwards, I will give you a brief overview of all the features in this game. The tutorial. Move with WASD, this is pretty standard. Then, tap the left mouse to gain speed and press spacebar to jump. Then hold shift to increase the gravity. This is useful if you're going downhill and you want to gain speed. Bullseye! In this situation, shift helps you to fall faster, so you can make the jumps. But oops! If you always shoot something, you can press Q and E to rewind. Press Q to go back and E to go forward. The game pauses if you do this. And look at the pyramid thing. It loves me! Ah! And if you press right mouse, you go back to the game. This mechanic makes the game so much less frustrating, trust me. And these blue things are rails, you can grind them and gain speed. The gameplay is all about speed, you gotta go fast. If you're out in the sand, shift is used to go faster. Now we go up here. You pull stop, rewind, so easy. Note that the game was intended with the Xbox 360 controller in mind, but I've been using the keyboard and I've never had any problems. Now we go up here. Now, important, the wall jump. You need to have upwards momentum and a speed of more than 30. So you press and keep... That was, that was wrong, see. You jump, you jump and keep the spacebar pressed. Then you jump again and keep it pressed. Again, keep it pressed. This way you can gain height and speed. Because the wall jump is the best way to get speed. On the left upper corner of the screen you can see a number and this number is the speed you're at. And look how it increases as you go along the wall. In an infinite loop you can gain an infinite speed, theoretically. Right, just keep keep riding the wall. And bullseye. Now here. You need to go on the rail. You can almost not see it, but there's a rail and you need to go up there. Then you need to jump the wall here, ride a bit on it, and go up here. Then wall jump, again, and that was wrong, I had a downwards momentum. So that was not possible, so we better just land here, keep the speed, lost the speed, rewind, lost a bit of speed, no problem, it was a problem. Go up here and wall jump. Go under here and up this ramp. It is so much fun to just jump and you almost jump in slow motion. You wave your arm. Ah, so much fun. And don't forget, wall riding is faster. 
And we've completed the tutorial. Hooray! Right, now we're in the main game. And as you can see, on the right, there's your phone, your mobile phone. And you right click it, and you open it. And as every modern phone, it also has Twitter built in it. So it is actual Twitter, which you can use, you can write your tweets, you can sign in. Pretty cool. Then, you got a radar to where stuff is. You got missions to do. And you got messages, which basically is the storyline. Then, if you ride around, you can see that you've got your catco, and you see those people standing around with their smartphones there. You can challenge them. This feature offers a whole game within a game. The gameplay looks as following. Just move with the arrow keys and wait until your Pokemon shoots. No, not a Pokemon, but some sort of a slime. And you eat. That's basically the game. And you gain cash, and the cash is used to upgrade your Catco. You can increase the attack, the defense, the magic, or the glam. There's also the sign, which is some sort of magazine. I don't quite get it, but it looks interesting. And these are also collectibles, so you see them scattered around everywhere, and you can pick them up and read them. Then, of course, there's the settings. We've got the debug control, we've got the sound, and of course the color of your tail. So currently you're not in the open world yet, you have to go a bit until we're there, and this is quite simple. We just go here, and up here. And lost in speed, rewind. Up here. Then a little wall jump there. To build up speed. And then we jump. And now you can see the whole world. Yes, it looks great. And it is quite big actually. Depending on how fast you're actually moving. And I could jump here for hours. I could just grind here. Dunes, the sand. Carving the dunes is so much fun. The story starts here. You can go to the city there, over in the distance, do some missions, which basically are picking something up, going in a parkour, etc. etc. Getting right on top of that city to the infinite loop is quite difficult. It is like climbing a mountain and can take some time. And there's much to explore. If you go too far, there's a hawk that gets you. And it brings you back to its nest. On top of a pillar. Right, we should be there any moment. Yeah, there's the hawk. And... No, 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 don't pick me up. No, and it picks you up. Then, if you go to your phone and go to your Catco, you can play again against him. He's quite tough and needs to level up first. But if you can beat him, you gain control of him and can fly wherever you want. One mission is called Get to the Moon. And for that you need to defeat the hawk with your Catco. And then, you see that bridge over there? That purple bridge? You need to go under it and into it, then there's a rail. If you grind that rail, you build up much speed. Then it fires you up and you're off to the moon. Which we can't really see now. Of course your mobile phone has also a camera. Just unlock it in your menu. Just take a snapshot. You can even play multiplayer on this game. Just go to the debug menu 
and select MMO Debug. Then you can join a server or make your own. It is really simple. And worked on the first time. You can choose different moods, you can chat, everything is there. You can even put yourself in someone else's shoes by pressing the look button. Now you can see what he sees. I'm a big fan of the graphics. The cell shading look reminds me of great games like Borderlands and Chatted Radio the latter even having a similar gameplay. I love it. In my opinion, the soundtrack plays a big role in the game. It does a great job of creating an ambience that makes you want to go faster and faster. I really like it. Have fun curving around 